Mastering the Erase Tool with these three easy tips is our topic today on our Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello everyone, glad you could join us here today. Now, our topic today is gonna to be talking about the Erase Tool, and I'm gonna give you a couple real quick, easy tips on how to use this. Now, this is dedicated to my good buddy, Simon, who on last Friday's breakout session what was discussing the erase tool in detail. So let me dive right into this image is already processed. So I'm gonna come over here to edit and erase. Now I notice it's not that big of a deal, but this blade of grass, <clears throat> this blade of grass right here, and there's just, these little flowers are a little distracting. So let's tackle them. Now the first tip is when you're erasing, Try not to do one of these things and get lazy. Don't sit there and go, okay, got it. This looks good. Great, great, great. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of all of this. Down to here. Over and down. Good, and stop right to there. The reason for that is that's a really big section. All right? And with that being such a big section, it may not copy over well. So what we want to do is take it in short spurts. So from here, the first tip is don't use large selections like this. Break them down into little, little sections. Second tip, if you do make a selection like this, you can always come over here to deselect. And then I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger using the left or right bracket keys. And what I'm going to do is erase some of these sections here like right about to here. All right, so that's a good small enough section. So the second tip was don't forget to deselect. Now clear is going to erase all of it. So I don't want to do that right now. But deselect, if you make, uh, you get a little overzealous with your selection, use deselect to tighten it up a bit. And then of course select continues with the, the paint brushing. All right. Now I'm going to click on erase. Good, and I'm um, gonna continue right about here is good. And I have to make sure, do not, like if I don't want this to be part of it, make sure you stop without touching, without intersecting with a piece like that. So I have that little line break in there. All right, this is fine for now. And I'll hit, Erase, and notice it does go a little bit faster once you, yeah, once you start um, in smaller sections, it does go a little bit faster. Now, this looks horrible right now, but that's okay because we'll call this tip A, B. So it's not the original part of the tip, but I wanted to show you that you can always go back and erase again on top of the erase. Oh, now I'm just getting a little too crazy. So I want to restore. That's my third tip. So the third tip is don't forget restore. So if I got a little crazy right here, let me double check where I'm at. Yep, right here. I can click on the restore tool or click on or select and then click restore. And now it's going to restore what was once there. So let me do this and click restore. And now look, we're right back where we started from. So the three tips, don't make a huge selection, break it down into chunks. Second tip, don't forget that deselect tool if you get too crazy. And then part of that was make sure that when you do make a selection, like right down in here, let me get just a little bit bigger, make sure that you don't touch like that right there. You don't want to touch that leaf because part of that will end up being in, in your um, erase tool. So again, there's that deselect and I cut it off right to there. And the third was don't forget the restore button. So if you don't like what you did, there's no undos, but
but the restore is your undo. So here's one. And again, I'm going to go back over it. And once we get the clone and stamp tool back again, then it's going to make this a lot easier for us. So right now, uh, now keep, oh, and what I should mention was this image here was actually um, an image that's already been processed. If you're going to do the erase, in my opinion, before we start adding all this little blurring and stuff like this, go back and start your erase process first. And then from there, uh, it'll come off a little bit better. And by the way, I should have added a three slash A. Let me erase this for a minute. Because, and I'm going to restore all that. Because look what I just did. Here's the erase tool. Here's the erase tool. So look, I have mul multiple instances. So I'm going to discard all of these. And we'll go back to this one more time. Erase. All right. So here we are like this. Click Erase. Now click on Edit. Come back to that same Erase. So this way you're not having multiple ones all the way through. And then continue on with the rest of the, the procedure. Now this over here. This is a no-brainer for the Erase tool. This um, patch of light is going to come in. And notice I'm still on this Erase. And there it is. I may just pop it back in a little bit more. There we go. Um, in the fur area here, this is going to get real, real tricky. So... Let's try going thin line right about to here. And let's see what that does. All right. Now, that it, it's okay. This is where, once again, the clone and stamp tool. Oh, look at that. You see how I did that? Just a little extra. But this is where the clone and stamp tool is going to come in. Because once we do the erase, and if we don't like what we're seeing, you know, we got the bulk of it out of the way, like this right here. I would use the clone and stamp tool to select this this area and then come down here and match it in. So I, I find that it works great together as a team. And I'm going to come back in and paint just this section and hit restore. Good. And then go back over it again with a smaller brush and click Erase. There, that was better, much better. All right, so, sorry for making that go crazy. There we are. Before, after just that little extra, and again, this section right here, this is gonna be a little complicated because the original part of this image, it's not blurry, but because of the edit I did, I made it look very, very blurry, so, this is one of those cases where it's best, this section right here, it's best to have done this before I added any of the effects to this image because then it wouldn't be as blurry and it'll be so much easier to, to manage, all right? So again, just the th three simple tips. One, make sure that once you apply the erase tool, don't get crazy and do the entire sections just do pieces at a time. And then once you get the first one done, go into the edits panel, click on the erase again so you're not making multiple versions unless that's what you want. If you want them on different tools, go to the next section, make the next erase, and don't forget that the restore button's gonna be your friend. That's your undo. So instead of uh, control Z or command Z, You'll end up hitting the restore so you can paint in the area that you want. And if you want to get rid of all of it, that's when you hit clear. And then we talked about the, the third tool or the third tip was um, after the restore was making sure that when, when you do your slight edits, 
Make sure you don't intersect with another with another object. Move that just the very edge of it. So this way, it'll stop just before it and replace it with all the pixels around it. All right? So guys, thanks for joining us. So stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment, and I'll answer any questions pertaining to the Erase tool, and then we'll open up the, the floor to ask me any questions whatsoever on photography, another question you may have about Luminar, and so on. All right? Well, thanks so much for joining us, and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.